I finally got a chance to explore this week a little bit in the direction I'd like to go with my uh, ceramic artwork. Uh, I'm trying out a technique that has to do with using slip as you would an acrylic paint and a palette knife. So what I decided to do is I, I was going to take some underglaze and mix it with some sturdy slip and try to apply it to a... Um, it's not leather hard. Yeah, you know what? It might be considered leather. Little, a little softer than leather hard. But um, what I'm going to do is mix it up. And I'm not trying to mix it up solid. I want to leave some of the white streaks of the stoneware in it. So when I apply it, it gives it kind of a, a depth and a dimension to it. I really should have used a, a flat um, palette to mix it. You know, hindsight is always crystal clear. But the expressions that it puts on top of the surface is what I was really looking for. Um, the whole process I was hoping to try would be to put slip on top of the clay um, and then go back with a wash after it's been bisque fired and add a little more color to it then. Okay, I'm just really applying it here like you would to a painting. And uh, I've been, I did a couple of them, my first ones ever, and I had so much fun. So I thought, oh, I could not wait to try this in clay. I also wanted to try carving. Um, I started out knowing I wanted to make a tree out of this. I have a certain way that I make a tree. And my goal was to uh, use as much of the slip as I could to create the texture of the tree, but then to carve some of the clay out to create more texture. Uh, I'll expand it from here, but this was just my very first try at it. I'm just going to let this dry and then I'll go ahead and I'll bisque fire it with the test tiles that I have coming up. I can't wait to do that. Okay, this was an interesting test. I really want to be able to create textures with slip, but I also wanted to see about adding my underglazes to the same slip and finding out, you know, how that works. I wanted to share an example of what this slip piece looked like before. Uh, here's the before. It had uh, some slip texturing on it, and here's the after. And I really like this, so I, there's something I'm going to be doing with this. I'm going to be expanding on this thought a little bit more. I'm really happy with how the slip worked. I like combining my dots in the slip. That's something I wanted to make note of. Um, I'm really happy with it. Not that I would look at that and go, ooh, I love how it looks, but I'm really happy with the test result because the texturing is what I wanted, um, I was really looking for. The colored slip, the textured slip, and I'm just really happy with these results.